this video, I'm going to be sharing my five favorite hidden gem restaurants at Walt Disney World. My name is Christina and I am the owner of Showcase the World Travel, a modern travel agency dedicated to helping moms take a break from the busy and actually go on a vacation they can enjoy without having to plan it. Showcase suggestions. Where I share travel tips and lists of five to help make traveling with kids a little easier. So you've heard of Ohana, you've heard of Chef Mickey's, you've heard of Cinderella's Royal Table and Be Our Guest. So has everyone else, and that's why those restaurants are really difficult to get into. If you're going on a return trip or maybe you're planning last minute and weren't able to get reservations, my favorite places are some of the places that are really easy to get reservations for that not a lot of people know about. The first one is Kona Cafe. Um, it's a really great alternative if you can't get into Ohana. It's right across the the mezzanine from Ohana and they have some amazing, amazing food. I love it for breakfast. It's probably my bre favorite breakfast restaurant on property, um, but they also have wonderful Asian inspired dinner, including sushi and other um, noodle dishes. And really, really the food is just excellent. I prefer the food there um, to Ohana, but of course at Ohana, you aren't gonna, at Kona Cafe, you're not gonna get the um, fun interactions that you do at Ohana. One thing I would recommend is after you have dinner at Kona Cafe, head over to the Tambu Lounge, which is right outside of Ohana and get the Ohana bread pudding. My favorite thing at Ohana, but you don't have to actually get reservations at Ohana to enjoy it. You can get them at the bar. Another great one that is a little pricey and probably why not as many people enjoy it, but Takumi Te is a new restaurant, new signature plus level restaurant. So not, probably not as nice as Victoria and Albert's, um, but it's right up there with Monsieur Paul where you're getting really, really fine dining. Um, again, that's why it's a little expensive. They do have a chef's menu, which is one of the best meals I've ever had. It was five courses and it had a wine pairing with the wine pairing. I think it was about $200 a person, but it was worth every single penny. Um, maybe doesn't make sense for a, full, a family of four, but it's, it's a pretty, Penny, but if you have um, someone to take care of the kids and you can go on a date night or um, hire a babysitter from Disney, then you can really enjoy Takumete. Um, again, some of the best best meals, I one of the best meals I've ever had. Um, it's right up there with one of the uh, Michelin star restaurants that I um, enjoyed in France. Another Epcot one is Spice Road Table. It's in Morocco. It's right on the water and you're gonna get tapas style, so Mediterranean tapas, essentially. So in Greek, it's called mezes. I don't know what they call them in Lebanese, but they're tapas style, so you can get hummus and tabbouleh and grape leaves. And I really love the floor to ceiling windows so you can enjoy the fireworks. I mean, it's not as immersive as being outside, but um, like at Rose and Crown, but you do have the floor to ceiling windows and you can see the fireworks. Enjoy some sangria and some Mediterranean mezes. Um, all speaking of Mediterranean, um, Toledo is another one of my favorites. That's at Coronado Springs Resort. It's a very Spanish inspired, inspired, inspired um, tapa style menu as well but their main dishes are incredible. I had the scallops, they were so delicious, and the table next to me got the chicken. The chicken looked so good that I cannot wait to get back and try it. Um, it was a wonderful night. Again, floor to ceiling windows, you can see Epcot on one side, Hollywood Studios on the other. So really, really exciting place to eat. Um, and it's a really, really nice dinner as well. Um, I, it's not considered signature, but it's pretty close, so it's a really good use of a dining credit if you're on the dining plan, um, unless you plan on having tapas because then it's a little bit difficult to do with the dining plan. The last one I'm gonna say is Frontera Cucina. It's at Dizzy Springs. It's Rick Bayless's restaurant. It's Mexican. It's fresh Mexican. It's delicious. Rick Bayless is from Mexico um, and he does really, really great things for, for the uh, community. Um, so I really love supporting his restaurants and it's just really fresh, really good Mexican food. So check out those five restaurants. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, please hit the bell so that you're the, next, the first person to know when I have new videos like this. And I hope you remember to take a break from the visit. Need help planning your next family vacation? 
Visit us at showcasetheworld.com to request a quote or schedule a free vacation consultation. Want more great travel tips? You'll find those there too.